Hi guys, Chris here again. Another bored COVID-19 lockdown video. This time I put a replacement cover on my seat. Uh, this is the cover from a company called Volcano. Um, they're an Italian uh, company. I think it's a quite a really small firm, but I saw an R1 forum, a uh, post saying that, you know, this company's struggling. If anyone's bored, something to do. He's got discount on his covers. So I've ordered a cover for the MT10. Um, I had a spare seat. Um, the one I've currently got fitted is a standard seat, but the previous owner had um, gel foam put on it. So this is my original seat. Um, was replaced under warranty um, because it didn't have this plastic cover on. So it soaked all the water in. So this is uh, spare nonetheless. Um, it cost uh, 127 euros, so about 115 quid posted. Um, and it's not much to look at when you open it, um, but this is it, a kind of Alcantara, I think that's how you say it, um, effect, kind of standard seat material on the top with this suede effect, um, empty embroidery um, and a kind of carbon side panel down the side. Um, I've already removed the old cover. Uh, moving the bolts for the hooks, the staples, uh, and what I'm going to do is just give it a clean up before I then file the corners off because you can already see, even on this new seat, a couple of hundred miles, it's already wearing through the foam. That in turn will wear through the cover and in turn damage the panels on the bike. Absolute nightmare for Yamaha, I imagine, because this is such a common problem um, on the stand seat and the comfort seat, even still to this day, I believe. So I'm going to get these off, file them down and um, give it a clean up. So I've already taken the staples out. I'll probably just do one side at a time and I might just Dremel that. So I've got my Dremel, got my grinding kind of cutting disc on it. And I'm just going to use this to um, take the, uh, the edges off. Turn it on. Helps. Should have had goggles on, got some in my eye. It's all kicked right towards me, twat. Um, and I'm absolutely shit eye now. Um, but that is a much tidier profile compared to the others. I've got some little needle files here, which I will just tidy it up with. Yeah. Happy with that. That's side. Job done. It doesn't take very long at all. Well, I know it's out, but there are like a million staples to get out. And um, I've actually removed the entire cover. This is this is a fix you can do just on doing the front and peeling it back. Um, it's not even near as much work just to sort out your seat if you're happy with it. Rounded profiles. I don't want that foam to come up too much. Incidentally, on the um, 2016 models, the um, seat didn't come with this plastic cover over the foam. Um, so you uh, 
feed your bike, rode it in the rain and all the rest of it, and all the shit that comes up the back, as we know. Um, and without this plastic cover, honestly, there's none here. This is where they glue the cover on. But it just soaked in. So when you sat on it, over time, it all soaked in. And you can see where it's got black here. There's a little bit, little bit in there. Um, but it all squeeze out the sides. Um, and look really, uh, not look shit, get your, give you a wet ass. It's no good at all. All right, staple gun, six mil staples. I'm gonna put that bit of foam back where it was. Clean up Vulcanite wipes. Bit of a brew. Oh, nice, not cold. Instructions tell us to start at the front. So there's not much dialogue here. Um, the instructions are quite clear. It's just pull the front on, fix it. But I'm just trying to find where this will kind of sit once it's all taut. Probably like that. So I need to get the staples in there. So we've now got a good tight hold on the front. That's a load of crap on my Which is getting all on my new seat cover. Now we the best side out, I think. Pull the back over. Rogue one there. So, not as chatty on this one as my others. All I'm doing is putting the staples in, but what I do is, according to instructions, is you put the front in. I'm quite happy with how that is sat on there because the rest of it is going to all put around. You just need to make sure it's central and tight. And I think that will be, or well, certainly central. So staple front and back, and now 
we just work our way around the sides. And um, I'll probably time lapse this, fast forward it. Just to make it a bit more of an interesting watch. There's an instruction that says to staple the elastic, so you don't want to be pulling too much of the seat cover around just the uh, elastic bit. And there's a nice little label here, and I'm guessing that is to be exposed, which gives you an idea on. Staple. Probably gone a bit overkill on the staples on there. Maybe not. And then, whoa! <laughs> Nearly had the tea over. Got a lot of beer last week. Tea this time. What the ass is that? Where the hell is that coming? Oh, I've hit the WD 40. Right, where's that? Why? Stain it with some oil before I've even fitted the thing. God, it's all my life this is. Errors. But that's looking quite sweet so far. Let's do this side. No, move this. I'm going to have this over. Oh, rank. So you still drink it though, don't you? Cold tea, but still finish it off. See that? At least they put my leg. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, that's right. Yes. The issue I'm having here is I'm using 10mm staples and to try and pull this bit in, this plastic at the front is very thin and the staples, I can feel them the other side, um, so I don't want to be using those, so I'm probably going to have to bastardise some of the 10mm's. So I see how that goes with Mr Dremel. And my steel cutting disc.
Okay, there's the new seat cover on. I've reused the strap. Um, I find that handy, keeping the bike supported when I'm uh, taking it off the rear paddock stand. But that looks, in my mind, proper tidy. I'm very, very pleased with that. You've seen my ramblings and what I hopefully have done though now is fast forward in it. But there's the handiwork. Um, had to grind the staples down around the tier. I really do recommend. I mean, I've left a bit of a gap there because the plastic's really thin. It does say use six mil. I've used 10. You can't feel it on the way around the rest of the bike. But around here you can. That's where your legs are going to come down. So use six mil staples. I've used the 10 there. See, there's the old one. I'll do a before and after 